2015 was a defining year of the decade that we just left behind. I mean, Zayn left One Direction, Ireland legalized the holy matrimony of matching genitalia, as well as the US of A at the federal level. This New York rat brought home a slice of pie for the homies. Your best life. Red hats became political, and my beloved Patriots brought home their fourth Super Bowl title in an absolute nail biter. Pass is intercepted at the goal. Please don't unsubscribe. You would love them too if you were born here. But most importantly, 2015 was the year that the exploitation of homeless people on YouTube was at its absolute peak. I am totally against exploiting the homeless for views on YouTube. I mean, every rich prick with a camera was handing out a couple hundred bucks worth of McDonald's double cheeseburgers to homeless people and layering on some inspirational music to finger blast your heartstrings because they knew on the back end it would make them a couple thousand dollars and every 12 year old in the comments would think they were the second coming of Jesus H. Christ. This one I especially liked. It's when multi-millionaire YouTuber Lance Stewart gave away $270 worth of McDoubles and practically rubbed himself off with his own tears during editing because of how deeply in love he is with himself. We just watched the video and I'm crying oh my god dude that was great it's just so heartbreaking seeing all those people it really is that was awesome now man. nigel if you could cut the music please nigel if you could please what why are you still in a christmas sweater not for nothing Nigel, but you used to be the star of this channel and you have really fell off a christmas sweater at the end of january now don't get it twisted, I'm not trying to downplay the systemic issue that is homelessness, and I do appreciate the net result, which is people in unfortunate situations getting free food. But the way it's typically done on YouTube, this hey, hey, look at how sad these people are, and look at how incredible I am, now share this so I make a ton of money, in my gut, just feels slimy and exploitative. Kind of like watching Blueface pull up to Skid Row in his $150,000 G-Wagon and making it rain on the downtrodden. Sure, homeless people are getting money, that's nice, but it just feels so degrading when you watch it. Now, Obviously, I'm not the only one that feels this way. And as YouTube audiences have grown up, the motivation behind most of these social experiments involving homeless people has become pretty transparent. Of course, to this day, people are still pumping these kind of videos out. And I guess for some reason, it's always very emotional, but they just don't have the same effect as they used to. Unless you move it to a new platform where a new generation of young people are consuming their content, where you can condense that same, hey, look at how sad this person is and look at how great I am formula down to 15 seconds accompanied by captions stacked with crying emojis and prayer hands. That's right, my friends, not only is TikTok the source of 93% of the world's cringiest shit, it is now the epicenter of riding homeless people to the top of the social media level. Matter. You see the drip, yeah, I fit it up. Fit it up. In my Introducing Nasty Nas. Now boasting 6.6 .6 million TikTok followers, this budding young influencer has made quite the splash this past year by appealing to the naive sensibilities of young children. Now, like most normal and definitely not lonely and depressed men in their mid 30s, I was home alone the other day, just cruising through the TikTok for you page, and that's when I stumbled, or more like I was fed, uh, this video from Nasty Nas, which now has over 132 million views. Yo, I think he's hungry. Yo, bro, come here. Heartwarming stuff. I mean, this homeless man just randomly shows up at your shop, peers through the window, clearly looks hungry. Invite him in, give him a sandwich and some cheese puffs, send him on his way, and what a pleasant coincidence. Your phone was on and ready to go to capture this random act of kindness. By the way, 132 million views is more than my entire YouTube channel has received since its inception. Unfortunately for Nas, I don't think TikTok monetizes quite as well as YouTube just yet, but there's time. User 418181217 says, a good person does this without putting it on social media. That comment got 152,000 likes. I mean, come on, Nas, he just happened to have his camera out when this guy stopped by. He was just lucky to catch it on camera. He's not doing this for clout. Give me a break. You're a very good person, prayer hands times two and a smiley face. You see, that's more like it. It's the same guy every time. Wait, what? Hold on, let's just check this dude's account out and see what's going on here. Huh, well, this seems kind of familiar. Oh, it, oh it's, the ex it's the exact same thing. 47 million views on this one. Okay, let's keep going. Wait, is this the same... Is this the same tick? No, this is a different TikTok, but it's the same. It's the same thing. I don't. What's okay? What's going on here? Oh, hey, there he is again. This is weird. Why is he in so many of his TikToks? And again, this is so. What a coincidence! It's crazy that he's in almost every one of his TikToks. What? <laughs> 18 million views on that one. Phew. Oh, look, another one featuring our lead actor with 95 million views. All right, dude, hold up. Pump the mother. 
fucking breaks right now. So you mean to tell me that you rolled up on my man filming a TikTok and he just happened to be standing outside the front of your door shivering and trying to heat his hands up with a lighter? Cut, bruh. You smell that, Marv? Yeah. It's bullshit. No, it's fish. Fish, bullshit, it doesn't matter what you call it. You see what I'm getting He's at. in so many of your videos and now I'm starting to think he's a paid actor. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? So before we go any further, why don't we just briefly jump back to December of 2018 to give ourselves a little bit of context and see where this whole thing started. Now, Nas comes out of the gate swinging with a hard flex of his family's Apple products in his first post at the end of 2019. And clearly he did his homework because nothing says future viral TikTok star like a bed full of overpriced electronics. Then in his second TikTok ever, just a week later, he strikes gold as he finds his stride as an online comedian. Yo, hey, you wanna play a game? Hey, what's up? Bet, bet, I bet I can make you say five right now. Bet you $10, right? All right, go ahead. What's two plus two? Four. Told you I can make you say four. No, you say you can make you say five. Ha! Got him! I don't even know how, but this baby goes TikTok viral, ends up on the For You page, and even gets on television on the show Ridiculousness with Rob Deerdeck. Why? So just two TikToks in and Nas is already wetting his lips with a little drug I like to call clout. And to Nas's credit, he rides that momentum and stays on the grind and for the next five to six months would carve out his place in the world of online comedy. Whether it was his hilariously clever duets. <laughs> his reposts of morbidly obese people falling over. <laughs> I got me some donuts. Big boy today. with some donuts. Caught light on. Man, this guy's good. Oh, God. They, they got his stuff. <laughs> Never gets old, does it? His genius challenge time series. Your little bro challenge time. After every sentence, say, I'm a man, okay? Aye. All right. You went to the bar. I'm a man. You had a drink. I'm a man. You took her home. I'm a man. Put her in the bed. I'm a man. She whispered in your ear. I'm a man. <laughs> <laughs> She whispers, I'm a man. <laughs> Whoa, right? <laughs> I'll tell you, this guy is too much, isn't he? Yo, hey, I know it's cold, but it's challenge cold. challenge time, bro. Uh, to win 10 miles, you need to say yes, okay? All right. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Are you gay? Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> how, how does he do it? How does he do it? Yo, hey, challenge time. For 100 bucks, you got to eat that right there. Eat that grass. Let's go, bro. You can do this. Yeah, eat it, bro. <laughs> okay, that wasn't as funny, but that was just insane. Yo, bro. Simon says touch your head. Now Simon says touch your elbow. Okay. Simon says touch your nose. Okay. Okay, now Simon says you're gay. You're gay? No, you! What the? No, but you... All right, so at this point, it's clear that this young man has a bright future in comedy, but not only is he a stitch, but he's a sweetheart too. And throughout all these gems that he was posting for several months, there was two or three instances where he would post uh, a TikTok of him like giving a homeless person a couple dollars. And for whatever reason, those videos always seem to perform very well. So fast forward to July 12th and we have this one. Here you go, brother. I'll try it, right? I'll see you, all right? Take care. Give a homeless man a bag of chips, 3.2 million views. Wait, it can't be that easy, can it? So just three days later, we do it again. Ah, we recognize him, don't we? Familiar cast member. He was so happy he cried, helping homeless people part one. Nine million views, sweet mother of tits. We are cruising right now. Why don't we just do the exact same thing tomorrow? See what happens. He was hungry, so I gave him a lot of food. I hope it helps. He cried. Again. I am singing this song to avoid copyright. Oh, look, he's crying. 24.2 million views on that one. And ladies and gentlemen, we have found the new formula for TikTok clout. And a star is born. And I don't, I don't mean Nas, I mean this homeless guy. He's who's in like every one of his videos now. So that was mid July last year. And then as you keep scrolling up, uh, it's like 85% homeless people in the thumbnails and then occasional bangers he'll slip in like this one.
Ah, fake TikTok hacks to get little children to interact with your TikToks to help them go viral. These are great. And don't worry, he didn't give up on the comedy, which is how he cut his teeth. Yo, bro. Yo. I don't have change right now, boss. Bro, can you break a 20? I see you got change. I swear I don't have- Bro, you just gave him change. Okay, uh, can you hold it down real quick for me? What, from here? I'll break your change. Okay. Here. I mean, you just can't deny the comedy in the juxtaposition of being like, hey guys, look at how incredible I am. This sad homeless guy, I just gave him a Gatorade. Thanks for the 50 billion views. And then also being like, hey guys, watch me rip this $20 in half. Anyways, fast forward to now, same formula, still crushing it. And he's got like a whole Marvel universe full of homeless people. Uh, and this guy that we're familiar with is definitely the lead actor. I don't know his name because I don't think he ever says it, but let's just call him Clive for now to make it easy. And just in case anyone was curious, I took the liberty of going through every single one of his videos and finding the ones that Clive was featured in and making a spreadsheet and tallying up all of the views. <laughs> yeah, I had a little extra time on my hands. Anyways, uh, half a billion views for Clive. That's half a billion with a B. B, B. And Clive's still sleeping on the sidewalk. The injustice. And that's just one of the dudes in this homeless person MCU. I mean, Clive's like the Thor, but there's still Captain America and Iron Man. By the way, that half a billion views was spread over 30 videos for Clive, but if you include the full cast of homeless people, I would say he's probably got well over a billion views uh, of him giving like a Gatorade to these homeless guys. I don't really have a specific point I'm trying to make, so I guess just do what you want with that information. It's just a little bit weird. When you watch enough of these videos, it, it seems almost like he's getting these, he's, he's basically directing at this point. Like a lot of these videos, they're the exact same thing. And he's, he's got the homeless guys doing the same thing, reacting the same way, you know, sad faces. Oh, he cried. Prayer emojis. I've been laying the sarcasm on pretty thick, obviously, but I don't have any ill will towards this guy. I don't think he's a bad guy at heart. Probably, you know, young guy just trying to make his way on the internet. Nothing wrong with making some stupid videos and some unfunny jokes to try and get some clout online. It gets a little gray for me though. When you have this reoccurring cast of homeless people that you're kind of using as like marionette puppets to help yourself blow up online. But what the hell do I know, honestly? I'm just an out-of-touch boomer and it looks like this is the new wave and I just forgot my surfboard. Seems to me that Nas is clearly scripting these videos at this point. I mean, are these guys even homeless? I think that they are. But I mean, Christ's sake, how many views does Clive need to get before he can stop sleeping on cardboard on the sidewalk? Head down to the comments, let me know what you think, would you? I'm curious. And while you do that, let's see what some of the other people on the internet think. Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast stick, you can get high with me, that's a deal, right? No shortage of adoration as well. Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast stick, you can get high with me, that's a deal, right? Some split opinions online here, but it's safe to say that riding homeless people for clout is still alive and well in 2020, and even though it may not be as popular on YouTube anymore, it certainly trickled down into some of these other new social mediums. So what do you think? Are these guys angels doing the Lord's work, or is this some of the most disingenuous bullshit you've ever seen in order to get TikTok famous? And at the end of the day, does it really matter? Because we're all about to die from the coronavirus anyways. <laughs> I appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't already subscribed and decided to do that here today, it means the world to me. And if you could do me one favor before you go, just slowly lower your pants and gently pamper your loins with a moist towelette and then hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me. I do appreciate it. Thanks so much. We'll see you in the next one. Peace. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.